everyone, I'm Callie, and for this week's practice tip, I want to talk about tension and muscle fatigue. So I encourage you to be more aware of your body, what's happening in your body, so you can better avoid injury and build endurance for down the road. From my experience, tension and muscle fatigue can feel very similar. As I practice, I try to distinguish between the two. On one hand, you have tension, which could lead to injury and a lot of trouble later on in life. The other is muscle fatigue, which is very similar to training like an athlete. You're trying to build muscle to improve performance and endurance later on. So it's really important that we're able to distinguish between the two in our own playing. Here are some of my tips that I've discovered in my experience that help me distinguish between muscle fatigue that improves endurance and tension that can cause injury. And I hope they can help you too. First, as you play, really listen to yourself and be aware of your body. Second, when you start to feel uncomfortable, keep playing, but make note of it. At this point, we don't want to label any sort of discomfort as bad tension or muscle fatigue quite yet. Once you've identified where the source of this discomfort is, I want you to ask yourself the following questions. First, why do I feel uncomfortable? It could be that we're running out of air, it could be our armature is hurting, we maybe have abdominal tension from playing fortissimo, or there could be shoulder tension in our back from who knows what. Next, ask yourself if this tension is translating into your sound. Next, is this discomfort or muscle fatigue from any source of unnecessary tension. So remember, muscle fatigue will eventually heal, make you stronger, and give you better endurance. Unnecessary tension could cause injury, tendonitis, or worse. So let me give you a couple of examples. If you're new to taking private lessons and you learn how to manipulate your embouchure in a way to get a really good sound, you may experience some muscle fatigue for the first few days or even weeks. This kind of fatigue is okay because it's going to help you eliminate jaw tension or biting. If, for example, you are trying to expand your dynamic range, you're trying really hard to play really loud, but you feel pain maybe in your back or your shoulders or your chest, that kind of tension could lead to injury. Last, once you have identified the source of your tension, you have to figure out an action plan for either eliminating said tension or building strength so you can have better endurance in the future. One benefit to having a private teacher is that private teachers know how to distinguish between good tension, bad tension, muscle fatigue. They can give you tips for improving all these different muscle groups in your body. So be sure to go and talk to your teacher about this. That being said, I'm sure all of us have some really great tips on how to overcome challenges with tension and muscle fatigue. So if you have any great tips, please leave them in the comments below so we can all learn from each other. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy practicing. <laughs>